Hello, witch folk. Welcome to our coven. We are Angels on Broomsticks. We're a mother-daughter duo. I'm Kristen. I'm Evangeline. And here on this channel, we see makeup as something that is fun, creative, magical, and definitely for everybody. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, definitely think about hitting that subscribe button. Today, we are excited. We got <laughs> in the mail today the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette yes this is what she looks like look at this okay <laughs> this whole thing comes off i thought it broke we just opened it up like five minutes before this i was like what happened it's very cute she it's wrote. very melt like we all know that yes we've seen some other videos comparing so it's not exactly the same and it's definitely a different formula than melt hmm. but this is what the swatches look like yeah let's go here I think it's unlikely you'll be able to tell on camera how beautiful these two shimmers are, especially this one, stained glass, which is like a peachy pink. I feel like it probably looks like nothing on camera, but in real, it's got like an orangey shift, and this is like a limey green to a deeper turquoise shift. They're so pretty. Yeah, very pretty. These two colors look like the Maybelline Great Lash color wand thing, yep. you know? I love that pink and chartreuse together yeah yeah it looks amazing kaleido shimmers are my favorite shimmers. yes and by the way i now have all the kaleidos palettes that are available i don't have the the ones that were discontinued mm. but maybe in a video in the future we'll bring them all out and yeah. we'll rate them Would you i like feel that? like that sounds fun i think that sounds like a riot <laughs> And what else do we have from this flower punk collection? Well, we got the lippies, but we got the dark shade. But look at this cute package. It's in a I tin. I love that tin. <gasps> you could take even this inner part out and, and use, use this it. for your marijuana. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. All right. We're going to swatch the lippies nearer to the end of the video when we're onto yeah. our lips. The, it's a very cute package. Yeah. I'm excited. I've I love tried. the packaging. That's yeah. I love, I'm an unapologetic package queen. <laughs> Makes me happy. So anyway, we already have our bases on, except, I mean, just like foundation concealer. We're gonna go in with eyes first, finish up the complexion, and then check out the lip products. Mm -hmm. Ready? Not, none of us, have, we don't have a plan. No. And nor do we have clean brushes. I cleaned mine! Oh, damn. Ta-da! Mine are all stained. But they're stained. Yeah. yeah. So... I really love the idea of these, this pink and these turquoisey teal, whatever, together. But I'm like, how should I put them together? We're gonna I need to do the Maybelline. Maybelline mascara yeah, wand vibes. Yeah, a little bit. And then I'll go towards the end with the grungy green. Okay. But Even like the little, uh, what do you call these, like decals? Inlays in the, in the palette looks like melt. Yeah. Looks like, like the little marijuana themed yeah, things they have. That's fine. I'm just going to wash... Do a kind of wash in my um, crease line. Chlorophyll. With, with chlorophyll. Just a soft, fluffy brush. And just see how I'm inspired just by doing this. And yeah. Then. I think I'm going to go in with peach soju, which is this pinky salmon-y color first. Fluffy too. Oh, that was way more pigmented like on first dab than I thought it would be. She not a melt formula. <laughs> you know how melt's a bit more like, sometimes chalky? Yeah. You build it. But I find it pigmented. Pigmented yet chalky. I don't know. Yeah. Melt's bizarre. Melt is bizarre. That's why I love it. That's why you love it. Don't you say nothing bad about melt. Nobody I can. Wasn't. <laughs> so just this really slight wash of pink. Winging And out. I'm going to use that pink too. Peach soju, and I'm just gonna go in the center. What's this word? Center? Inner? Inner. <laughs> do you have things to say today? I do. What? I learned a new word today. This? That I forgot already, and I'm just gonna Google it. <laughs> you can edit this or not. All, all the kids are using this word. Hang on, hang on. Oh. Do you know what chuggy means? No. It's the Gen Z new term. Poor. Chuggy. Sounds disturbed. But wait. Wait till you see the spelling. C-H. 
E U G. Chuggy. Chuggy. What's it mean? It means basic. Oh. Like we needed a new word. Okay, instead of like your basic beach, you're a chuggy beach. beach. Some things are chuggy. Okay. What is chuggy? <laughs> it describes the millennial girl boss aesthetic, which oh. is. Can you think about it? Millennial it's, girl it's boss? It's of course by some TikToker made this up. So millennials oh, are now oh, being made fun of. I eat, eat, no, not eat, pray, love, but like live, love, laugh. Those things are chuggy. Live, laugh, love, live, laugh, love. You Is it live, live, love, and laugh, or which? I think it's live, laugh, love. If you've seen that TikTok. So you live, then you laugh, and mm-hmm. then you love? <laughs> As you said, some people needed to be reminded to do such things. Oh, when we were talking about how they were being dissed for going to home since in the pandemic. Yeah, like some people, yeah. We, we have no stores open still here yeah. in Toronto. I'm just deepening it up with this, like, dusty, deep, brick rose color called Nouveau. I was uh, dipping into Golden Age, which is, like, the sort of baby poo color. Um, (laughs) Which I don't know if I should have done, but I always wonder what I should have done better. Mm -hmm. I think that should just go under my eyes. I'm going to deepen up with the olive shade Earth Ship. Hmm. How do you feel so far with these? Honestly, this uh, is a little different formula-wise than other Kaleidos. Do you think? A little. I haven't gone into a shimmer yet, so... Mm, me neither. Okay. I did it. Oh, I wore Kaleidos today. I wore the, li- the lilac one. Oh, I love that one. It's one of the little ones. So I'm going in with that teal mint fever, but I'm going to be really careful not to, like, blend it with what I did just keep it here I wonder if all these colors are meant to go together well they look gorgeous together in the pan but they're a little like it's a little bit more advanced in how you're gonna like put it on your eye you know like I was having trouble thinking of how am I gonna combine these colors together I'm not always the best (laughs) at what combining combining or being creative I have to use Pinterest a lot. Everybody does. Everyone needs inspo. Something I've noticed, a mistake, or not a mistake, but something I've done in the past when I'm putting sort of a colored pigment on my inner corner is going too much in it, if that makes sense. So now I'm really careful to keep it in the natural crease and where the tear duct sort of ends. Because it makes your eyes look too close together? Yeah, and it looks like sort of messy if you go too far in. Oh. I'll probably do it now that I just dissed it, but... I'm liking what I did so far. I really like this collapsible yeah, mirror why thing. Do, guys, think about doing that, everybody else. I like how it's this way as well, so it's really good for when you're you too, Bane. See, look, I just kind of did the thing that I said isn't good. It went a bit too far down, the pigment. It just looks sloppy. I have to decide on my... Um, Shimmer shade. I have the choice of three. The obvious choice is the gold one, Sun Gazer. Maybe I'll do this if you're gonna do the pink. I somehow want to use both shimmers. I think I'll use Aloe Co for sure. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go pink. Okay. I'm using my finger. <clears throat> Same. Aloe Co, the shimmery teal Ooh. right in the center. I don't know what it is about their shimmers. It's like they're so perfectly iridescent without being chunky and they blend. Yeah, they're not chunky. But they always have like really beautiful reflex in them. Now I might just use, because it's on my side, this gold one just in the center. In the very center. Just a pitch. Just enough to dirty the eyeball. (laughs) Yes, yes, yes. That was a good call. I just want to take peach soju, the lighter pink, and pack it on a little bit more. Ooh, I love what I just did. I love it. I love it. I'm going to put on a little tiny brush the gold underneath my eye. Okay, I'm going to go in with peach soju on the bottom What happened to the Max Fix Plus? I forgot to bring it out. Oh, you have it. I have it. Boop. 
sorry. I just take it at the edge of the, like on the wet brush so I don't get that hard pan nonsense. Yeah, just go right in the little corner of your pigment. And just dab it. Just to give it some intensity. I saw Jamie Genevieve do this cool lower lash line technique where, so I put this lighter pink, but then putting like a bit of a darker shade slightly lower so there's almost a gap between the lash line and the pigment and it makes your eyes look bigger. I'm probably hmm. gonna mess it up. Almost like that Marilyn Monroe-y technique. Oh yeah, yeah. But a bit more diffused. Hmm. I'm gonna try. And she's not afraid to go like Jamie Genevieve go like way low on the lower lash line. Yeah. I'm always afraid. A lot of people aren't. But then, I, me too. Yeah, but then by the time I put my lower lash line mascara on, it's sort of like, oh, I can't even see what I did there. So I'm going to be brave today. Good. You could even like squint and see where the natural like yeah, shadow yeah. is. See? Oh, I love this. And then I want to take in the inner corner with a little, little brush that really pretty iridescent pink stained glass. Hmm, can't wait to see what you did. It's a little bit wacky. I don't so know. So is mine. Mascara, mascara, that's yeah. all we need. We always wait till the mascara and then... Are we going to do our, like, bronzer and then mascara last? No. Mm -hmm. So we do our mascara online? No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I'm done. I have not used the, the turquoise bro but I used quite a few of these shades. I think I just want to dust a little bit of the iridescent pink on the brow bone. Mm. Okay, I'm basically ready for mascara, I think. Alrighty. But I think I'm gonna do lashes today because there's no like liner or too dark shade along the lash line, so I think I'm gonna add some lashes. Okay, ready to finish up the complexion? Sure thing. Sure thing. Oh, guys, I've been using this apple butter, the good apple. Apple, apple butter? Apple butter by K KVD. It's really good. I'm on day two of it, and I'm loving it, loving it. Highly recommend. I got for my birthday um, from Sephora, thank you. Oh. This not, like a, I think I should just be using these tinies. What is this? This is the NARS Laguna bronzer. <gasps> so we'll try that out. I've tried it before. It's fine. Katie Jane always uses that one. Oh, yeah? I think. Katie Jane. Katie Jane. Yeah, like, I could just live on this. Yeah, just a little. I'm still loving my um, physician's formula, the, the butter bronzer. Oh, of course. You're obsessed. I'm obsessed. I was just gonna say I love how your makeup turned out to be like a Maybelline mascara wand, but but muted, like yeah. a grungy Maybelline mascara wand. Yeah, it's I, not bright. Yeah, I've tried to do that inspo before for a makeup look, and I found it just looked a bit, I don't know, kooky, clownish. Kooky. I didn't love it. Okay, we're in with the Tower 28 blush. I'm gonna use the same bronzing uh, brush. I'm obsessed with this that I got the Pixie. It's a hybrid of a highlighter and a blush. This one's called Peach Dew Glowy Powder. I just use it as a blush. Mm. In the summer, it's good. Yeah. It's not hugely pigmented. And then I can skip the I can skip the whole highlighter? Mm, yeah. <laughs> streak, streak, streak. Yeah. I don't like skipping that step. It's I don't my either, but step. It is one of mine, but it's just for day, like for dog walking. Come on. Yeah. Do I need it? No. So in the last video, we were talking about our favorite cream products, and I brought up these ones. We didn't use them. This is Magic Hour Shade. Can you tell it's like a saying it's not for uh, oily skin folks because it's sort of like greasy, but I like it. People liking the greasy skin. Yeah. Just looking greasy. I did bring a highlighter though. I got it in one of my little freaking kitlets. Mm. Maybe it was an Ipsy that I canceled. Yeah. Stop sending me mail and stop trying to lure me back. I'm not coming back, Ipsy. 
Yeah, IFC is not my favorite. I never had a good experience with that one. This is a Nomad though, which I like. I like that brand a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Kiss of Sun highlighter. So that's my sort of theme today. It's sort of summer, you know? Yeah. Today, it's been nice, the weather lately. Last Friday, it snowed. Yeah, what the fuck? Toronto. Look at Toronto, we <laughs> suck. The leaves lost. Good, I'm so glad. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm just taking, I used to use this religiously. It's the Hourglass, one of the ambient lighting powders. This one's in dim light. It's like um, a setting powder, but with a little bit of like luminescence sheen to it. And I used to use it like all over to buff in all my powders to create like a really seamless finish. Now I just kind of put it, you know, where I don't want to be shiny. Where you don't want to be shiny? Yeah, it's not a, sh but it, there's a sheen to it, but it's not shiny. It's more like... The whole premise is you're supposed to look like you're, depending on what shade you get, you're in candlelight. Oh. You're in, I swear one was like, under football stadium lights with a summer glow. I don't know, that like weird stuff awful. like that. It does sound awful, doesn't it? Yeah, it sounds but like... the way they yeah. describe it doesn't sound awful. Okay, I'm excited for the lips. Yeah, like, I think of football stadiums and I think of... I, I might have invented beer and blowjobs and <laughs> okay let's okay, go, go for. for this one this is the shade cactus flower I'll just do it on the back of my hand I guess this is a super pinky kind of sort of like candy venom from Fenty I might do that one classic bright summer pink now here we have agave Ooh, she blue. So that actually reminds me of the Fenty um, That's Turks Fenty. and Caicos. It does. So much, yeah. Yeah, there's Fenty in here too, and these ones too. And this is the shade Mahogany. PMS. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like PMS from Fenty. Bit of PMS and shawdy. And then we have Dahlia. That one's pretty. That's a red. That's like a brick red. Which one do I want to use? Maybe the brick red. We'll see if it goes. It's really pretty. Okay. I'm going to do the super pink one. Or should I do the brown? Mother. Mother. This one or this one? The uh, brown. Brown? Okay, I'm going to do the brown. They almost seem like they are going to dry down like a liquid lipstick. Yeah, I think they do. Yeah? I haven't, we haven't tried these. Yeah, this is all first impressions, mm -hmm. by the way. Since it came in the mail an Just hour now. ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a really different formula. I mean, like either wand. It's, it's kind of flat. I wonder if it dries. Or is it a lip gloss? No. What is it? What is it? What's, what is this? It's so weird feeling. It almost feels dusty. Wait, maybe they're different formulas. Yours looks more emollient. Yeah, mine's like a gloss, like a thick gloss. Well, mine's like, I'm almost jelly. like to put it on chunk here. Oh, I love that. Maybe I want to put a dash of Dahlia in it. Okay. Weird formula, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure how I feel about the formula of these. Mine's fine, but I thought it was gonna dry. I, I want mine, I want it to dry dusty. I'm just having that dark lip problem I get where it's clinging to certain spots. Interesting. I really like the color. I'm, I, I feel like I just have to get used to the formula. Mm -hmm. Does it need a chapstick under it? Does it need a little bit of a gloss Oh, I know why top? mine is glossy, because I used the buxom. Oh. Them. Yeah, so maybe it's a good thing to put the, like, buxom or something, like, emollient under it. If you it. like emollient, but if yeah. you don't. If you don't, this definitely dries super matte. I wonder if it transfers. Oh. Does it? Not, not a lot at all. Look. Yours is because of the buxom. Anyway, I really like those colors. I think they'd be fun shades to play with. I really like that dusty rose. What do you think about the palette, though? I love the palette. Oh, my God. Anything kaleidos, shimmery, 
It always sells me. I like this packaging a lot better than the other Kaleido Smalls because the other Kaleido Smalls, yeah. they open like an envelope and they you can't set them down because they sort, sort of like... Fold in on themselves. Yeah. They're like a three-part They're process. nice. It's beautiful, but yeah, this is way better because you can lay it down on your table. I Use love this. that mirror. Yeah. So much so. This is the best. This Keep doing this. Pink Kaleidos. shimmer. I just wish you could see it in real because... I don't know what the flashback is, but it's so pretty. So pretty. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like a flower punk? I do feel like a, like a steampunk flower girl. I feel that. Especially with the darker, sort of punkier lip product colors. Yes. Yes. They have a, the other lips are, are very, oh, they're neutral. Mm. I wasn't feeling it, so I didn't order it. Okay. I could see some neutrals being really nice. I, I have enough neutral in my life. Fair enough. Fair enough. Neutral is so very, what's that new word? Chuggy, chuggy. I'm never going to remember it. Chuggy. Chuggy. Neutral lips are very chuggy. Chuggy, yeah, but we need a chuggy day. Every now and again. Are we saying this right? Chuggy? Chuggy. Or are we saying something offensive right now? No. And chuggy's not necessarily a bad thing because basic okay. isn't really bad. Yeah. Because we like to be basic. Yeah. How else are we going to get a man? <gasps> Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, well, that's it for today, I guess. Trying out this palette for the first time. Uh, definitely let us know in the comments down below if you have this palette, if you're into it, if you're thinking about getting it, or any of your favorite Kaleidos products. Uh, I think we've got something else in store for another video. Yeah, that something palette. fun. Do you want to say what the palette is? Yeah, it's one of the Be Perfect palettes. Yeah, we decided to try Be Perfect. Yeah. It's a UK brand. Yeah. So it's like this mega It came palette. right away. I ordered it and I just you know, flew down from the heavens. Yeah, and it's very beautiful. Yeah, so we're going to be trying that out next time. Um, so that's it for today. Stay witchy, stay bitchy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye witches. witches. <laughs>